If you've followed this channel for long, you know I love shop stuff, especially good ideas that make my shop time more efficient or more enjoyable. This is one of those forehead smackingly good ideas that I wish I had thought of before, but I didn't. In fact, it was a friend of mine named Mike Taylor who not only came up with this idea, but also sourced the hardware to make it work. That's what's in this plastic pod here. It's just a few screws and nuts, but they solve a problem a lot of us have with one, two, three blocks. We've spoken about one, two, three blocks in the past, and I know a lot of our viewers have adopted them into their shops and discovered the countless ways that they can be useful. But just briefly, for those who wonder if this is a galvanized block of Swiss cheese, a one, two, three block is actually a precision ground chunk of hardened steel with perfectly flat faces and edges that are perfectly square to those faces. They're also machined to an exact size that follows a one, two, three ratio. So that means its width is precisely twice its thickness and its length is precisely three times its thickness. So one, two, three. Now this version happens to be imperial. So it's one inch thick, two inches wide, and three inches long. They also come in metric versions using the same one, two, three ratio, except in millimeters. So what are they good for? Setting up machines and cuts and performing any number of shop tasks with absolute repeatable precision. Honestly, these are some of the most versatile tools in the shop. Machinists have known about them for generations, but woodworkers have begun adopting them. And we have a whole video about that if you want to learn more about how a one, two, three block can change how you work. I'll link to that video below this one and also to a small family owned business that sells high quality one, two, three blocks for really low prices. I think they're around 10 bucks a piece. So look for those links in the video description below and I'll pin them to the top of the comment section too. Seriously, I get emails all the time from viewers thanking me for turning them on to one, two, three blocks. So do yourself a favor, grab a set and learn how to use them. But today I promised I would show something new and that is what this is. This little pod contains some simple hardware that solves a huge problem many machinists and woodworkers alike have with their one, two, three blocks. Let me explain. It's very useful to connect two or more of these blocks together in various orientations to make precise custom jigs. That's why they're filled with holes. Some of the holes are threaded, others are without threads. Now you're supposed to be able to slip a bolt through one of these smooth holes and thread it into one of the threaded holes in the other block. But many one, two, three blocks that cost under $100 or more have a serious design flaw. During the manufacturing process, they bore all the holes to the same size. Then they thread half the holes. In theory, that sounds fine, but in actual practice, what you find is that the threaded portion on the end of the bolt will not pass through the unthreaded hole. Therefore, you can't use them as they were intended unless you find a workaround. Now one solution is to get a large expensive cobalt drill bit and try to painstakingly enlarge the unthreaded holes. It's not so easy considering this is very hard steel. And even if you did, inexpensive one, two, three blocks also suffer from another flaw. While the surfaces are ground nice and flat and square, the positions of the holes may be slightly off, enough that when you connect them together, the mating surfaces might not align perfectly flush and enlarging the holes is likely to exacerbate that problem. Another solution is to use an undersized bolt that will easily pass through the holes and may be secured on the other side with a nut and washer. But now you have the bolt heads proud of the surface where they'll be in the way. So both of these solutions create more problems, but this solution fixes everything. This pod contains three pairs of screws that correspond to the same one, two, three ratio as the blocks. There's also four barrel nuts, two of which are threaded, and the other two have enlarged threadless holes. There's even an Allen key and a little screwdriver. So you have everything you need all in one handy place. Now here's how it works. Orient the blocks any way you like. I'm gonna make a right angle jig that I can clamp to the drill press table. To do that, I need to run a screw through the hole in the end of the top block. So I select one of the longest screws. As I slip it into the hole at the end, I insert one of the threadless barrel nuts into the hole in the block's face so the screw can pass through it. It's easy to orient the nut because the slot on the end corresponds to the direction of the hole. If you need to tweak its position, that's what that little screwdriver's for. 
Next, I slip one of the threaded barrel nuts into the lower block where the end of my screw can thread into it. The Allen key tightens everything together. I usually like to use two screws to secure two blocks together evenly. There's extra room in the holes so I can be sure my surfaces are flush before I lock it together. Now I have a solid, very precise jig with nothing protruding above any of the surfaces. Of course, I can assemble these in any orientation I like just by using the shorter screws. It's really a simple idea that's made a lot more simple by having all the hardware and tools in one place where you need them. Now, I suppose now that I've shown you Mike's good idea, you could just copy it and source your own hardware somewhere, but you'd have to modify your barrel nuts and I think it's better just to toss a few bucks at the guy who came up with the idea and put it all together in this handy little pot. Besides, I like to support small family businesses like Mike runs over at Taylor Tools. So if you don't own a set of one, two, three blocks, or if you do and you wanna make them a lot more useful by grabbing a hardware kit, please use the links below this video and help support more good ideas. See you next time.